Hello everybody and welcome to the first episode of my playthrough of the game Perspective. This is a neat little original game that was freely released. I'll put the link to the download in the description for the game. It was created by students at DigiPen uh, and it was just uh, released a couple months ago. Uh, let's go ahead and take a look. So let's uh, start a new game here. Already starting off with the feel of being in an old school arcade game. So, starting off, uh, WASD, uh, mostly A and D to move uh, left and uh, left and right. I don't know why S is really even described on there because it's not like we crouch down or anything. W will jump, but I prefer to use the space bar. That's just kind of how I roll. Uh, orange will kill us. That's about all I know about the game. I've I've played it just to get it working and. To make sure that uh, that we could record it okay, and I've uh, played through the first couple of stages, but you can see early on that orange things will kill you. You don't really have lives, uh, despite what the top of the screen says. That's just a temporary thing, and if you fall down in a hole here, it's, you die because you touch the orange border. So let's go ahead and finish that. And here we'll see where the concept. the way that the concept of the game changes things, the perspective that the camera has changes the 2D plane that the character moves on. So now we see that we've left the arcade game that we started off in, orthographic, and we've entered into a new area. Now left clicking here takes us out of uh, that 2D plane and away from the control of the small character and we enter into a first person 3D perspective haha -ha, perspective where we can walk around freely and clicking as long as he's on the screen and blue not obstructed by anything clicking will then take us back to him and we can move around on whatever 2D plane we create with our perspective here you see we've created a gap in the blue and if we try to jump it, oh we made it, but if we fall, we die. And if we were to create our plane here, we have a wall we can't get past. So that's kind of the, that's kind of the, the concept behind this game, the original. I think it's pretty original. I, I've, I've heard that there may have been uh, another indie game or two that sort of experimented with this concept, but this seems to be the most cleanly put together so far. And we enter into individual arcade games as individual levels. So let's take a look around this room. Our goal is on this far wall here, so we have to cross the room. We probably need to use this middle platform here. And we'll walk across, stop over here. And I don't know exactly how it chooses where to stick the character as far as how far they are away from the camera. Like, I don't know how it chooses to put him on the far back wall here, but that's okay. We can make it to the end that way. And that also shows us that completing the stages that, that are open to us will unlock a door to a new selection of probably more difficult stages. Nothing on this wall. These are probably concept art pieces for other games that people are working on at DigiPen, or just names that go along with the arcade boxes for these stages. But I wouldn't doubt it if there were some inside jokes and names here. Now we're introduced to some orange elements that will be obstructions. So let's see, where's our goal? Our goal is probably down that way, so let's go ahead and get him across. We can shorten this, and we can't get him across there. Let's use this pillar here in the middle of the room and get him to walk across. There we go. It's a close call on our head there. If we got in a little closer, we'd bring the roof up away from our head a little bit, because he never changes size on the screen. The closer you get, the smaller he is, uh, perspective-wise. So let's jump across here, and carry him down the hall. Oh, this might be a little tricky. Alright, we have blue. Let's bring it over, bridge the gap, and let's 
go ahead and take them all the way over. We're probably going to need to go that way anyway. And see, that would be a wall. Let's run him this way. That would be a wall, but I bet if we hide it... Yeah, there we go. If we hide it with the corner, then it's no longer a wall. So there's our goal, but we have another wall here. So we probably have to get him through this small gap. That's all long hallway here. We probably don't need to walk all the way down there because as I said, it's all about the 2D perspective, so we can probably just have him run across. There we go. So we've crossed that really long hallway in a very short stride. There we go. Not bad. So I'll probably do this Let's Play episodically. Uh, we'll probably play in undetermined number of stages until we have episodes that are greater than about 10 minutes and I'll probably end each episode with beating the stage we're on when we hit the 10 minute mark that sounds sounds about right isolation chamber let's take a look around the room okay so we have a window through to an area seems like an area we can't get to but he probably can large blue walls we need to go to the right I'm sure okay so let's cross him over here Now he's back there. Alright. And now he's free. Alright, let's run this way. I'm really digging the atmosphere in this game. You know, the graphics are as good as they need to be. Uh, for a free game, they're they're excellent. Can we jump that? Ah, I jumped too high. Alright, let's look up some. There we go. It gives us more room. Ah, killed myself by clicking. At least we don't have lives. Anyway, as I was saying, for, for a free game, the graphics are excellent, and the music is really atmospheric. Let's move on to the hallway. This is about as far as I've seen played as well. I've, I've intentionally left this game fresh and uh, haven't watched anyone else play through it so that I wouldn't spoil the puzzles. That's the way that I like to, to play puzzle games. I don't like to necessarily watch other people play it if I plan on playing it and I, I also recommend that you go play this game before you watch you know future episodes of me playing if you don't want things spoiled so if you have no intention of playing this right away or if you don't care about spoilers then uh, you know this shows for you but uh, let's go ahead and see if we can figure this out because right now I'm already stumped we have a column in the way here Ah, but there's no orange on this side of the column, so I bet I can use that to block the background orange and create a gap. There we go. Can we jump across? Nice. So we have bridged the gap. And let's make our way to the end. We'll probably do a couple more stages on this episode. I'm liking this so far. Hope you guys are liking it too. Wallflower. It's the last one for this section. I don't know how many stages there are, I wouldn't expect this game to be very long, just because it is a, an indie game that uh, was made as a student project and it's free. Alright, let's take a look. We want to get over there. Can we get him to run this way? And then move him around the room. There we go. Then we can get him to the background here. There we go. He probably is calculated to be on the back wall for whatever perspective we're looking at, wherever we leave him. He's probably on the farthest back wall. Like, I bet right now he's way back there. Yeah. So it probably just kind of pastes him to the back wall. So if we leave him there, perhaps we can deposit him onto a more useful place. That's interesting. So we have a platform here. Maybe we can get in here. Nice. I think I stumbled on that one. That was probably supposed to be much harder of a room. Let's take a look in here. What does the sign say? Token deal! So it's like we're in a futuristic arcade. I want a game room that looks like this place. It's awesome. Black lights everywhere. Relativity. Alright. Let's see what we've got going on. Empty room so far. Take him with us. Big wall. 
all. Alright, we're getting a little trickier here. But yeah, I, I put this game in the same... In the same category as Portal. Really creative... Uh, puzzler. So we need to get him across here. We have a small area. Well, the closer we get, the smaller he gets, so... Let's see if we can get him tiny. Yeah, there we go. Get across there. I like how it's, uh, it's kind of like Super Mario World as far as the music goes. When you switch over to the 2D perspective, uh, you get a drum beat. It's like riding on Yoshi. There we go. I think I'm getting the hang of this. I hope I'm not getting like so much the hang of this that I beat it much much faster than uh, than I want to. I want to enjoy it. I want to enjoy you know, figuring out the, the puzzles, and I hope that they've actually been able to work in some tricky stuff. Let's see, we want to get up there. We probably need to get him... We'll need to get him past this orange. What does this perspective look like? Uh, it's kind of completely blocked off. Can we get him... Can we... Ah, here we go. I we can do that. Get up there. There you go, sir. Get up here. Can you squeeze? There we are. Oh. Again, the room looked like it would be trickier than it really was, but we'll do one more. And that will round off the episode quite nicely. Let's take on the pillar. I'm guessing it's going to be something up high. Alright, where's our goal. Is it in the room with us? So we probably need to get him over here to the right. That seems like a given. Let's use this. It reminds me of Portal in more than one way. You know, you have the, the whole saying in Portal and Portal 2, now you're thinking with portals. It's like, now you're thinking with perspective. I feel that about myself every time I do something in this game. So, is this the pillar? Maybe. Let's see what we can do to get him across. Once you start thinking two-dimensionally, you take a snapshot in your mind and flatten everything, you start to get a, a real feel for it. Kind of saw that coming. Oh, we're just kind of pushing him along because he's on that same plane. Well, that's fine. Well, we got him through that. Uh, let's run down here. Oh, it's blocking him. To the corner. Can we get him into that? Yeah, there we go. So he's down the hall now. Is this the pillar? Where's our goal? Ooh, that's nasty. Okay. Not in here. It's on the back? Okay. Goal's on the back. We probably have to go all the way around because that's a wall and it's on the it's on the corner. So no matter which way we look at it, that's blocked. So let's go. I'm blocked. Oh, there we go. I'll jump up here. There we go. So we get past that pretty easily. Um, let's back him up a little. Flatten this blue out so that we don't see it. And we'll jump over this orange. Whoa. Okay. Maybe. We'll try and we'll try this trick. We'll try to freeze ourselves in midair. Ha! There we go. Now we're we're free to come back around here. Oh, we did it. Woot! And we've opened up the new area. We'll save that for the next episode. Let's go ahead and move back into here and see where we're gonna start. What's the name of the next puzzle? It'll be the floor is lava. The next episode will start The Floor is Lava. See you guys next time.